G'day, g'day, my name's Jim, and today we're going to be doing a teardown on this thermal take all in one that was running a 320 rad. So I bought this off Amazon for around 200 bucks, probably around three years ago. Um, the LED lights on the fans shit themselves after about two years. So I bought some replacement fans. So the missus likes a unicorn puke, and wow. If I get stoned enough, it looks okay, I guess. So, over the past few months, it's been getting larger and larger airlocks in it. And the other day, I seen a drop of coolant on my motherboard. So, that's the end of that one. I'm going to tear it down here, and I've got some Sikaflex. We'll see if I can um, repair it. So, Sikaflex, for anyone that doesn't know, is a uh, sort of like a gasket sealer. It's uh, basically a fancy type of silicon. It's expensive as all hell, but um, it's usually worth it. So we've got three little screws here. They hold the top on. It covers up the LEDs and stuff. And they're uh, stripping, just trying to get them out. No need to put security screws in this thing, because um, these are all going to be totally stuffed by the time they're out. Hope all the bloody screws are not like this, otherwise it's going to be a very, very long video. So on one side we have a circuit board with the LEDs in it. We'll have a look at that in a second. On the other side we have the coal plate and the motor. The motor in the crudest sense of the word. It's just basically two coils of wire that when a voltage is run through them it produces a magnetic field and pushes and pulls the rotor, which is a, a magnet around the bottom of an impeller. Got little arrows here marking inlet and outlet. The plate on the bottom is copper, which is good because copper conducts more heat than aluminium. Also conducts better electricity too, but we're not using it for that at the moment. We have three tiny screws holding the circuit board in at the top here. And after a little swearing, they uh, managed to get them out. Okay, well, as you can see, it's a very, very basic circuit board. There's not much here at all. I'm guessing that the U is the LED chips, marked U1 to U6. Then we have C1 to C13, I'm presuming that would be capacitors. And R1 to R14, I'm guessing they're resistors. You've got the power coming in at 7 volt positive. At first when I saw that, I thought it said 7 to 5 volt, but it's not. It's number 7 at 5 volt and ground pin is number 10 and just goes around in a big bloody circle it actually looks like the start of a sim city game so we're just going to undo the thousand screws now that are holding this side on and um, see what's in it I feel like I'm undoing a set of bead lockers Okay, let's crack it open and have a look. Here we have the impeller, which is just a plastic shaft with a permanent magnet wrapped around it. Got a piece of boogie board foam. Not sure what they've got that in here for. So the water gets sucked up through this hole here and then sent out the snail into the pipes. This is the inlet side here, and here is our seal. It looks okay, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see why it'd be leaking. Okay, well, let's pull the coal plate off and have a look. Another 30 screws later. Just pry this apart. Okay, cool. That looks good, doesn't it? We have fins on the cold plate for more surface area. And our feed plate, that directs the water through the fins. That sits on there. And this is our rubber membrane that directs the water flow in. It comes out of this hole and is forced by the plate through the fins from the centre to the outside then it gets sucked up by the impeller through this hole and sent back through the rad to cool down. 
And that's the whole thing. That's all there is to it. Uh, really doesn't look like 200 bucks worth. So unfortunately I wasn't able to put it back together again. All the screws stripped and snapped trying to get it back. So that's the end of that. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Just a reminder that this is my second channel. My primary channel is in a link below if you want to check that out. Yeah, will be good. Stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow.